Can I have some applause, please? Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> the amount of... Um, 600 units of everything. Eh. Thank you for having me here today. Yeah, I'm, I'm super honoured to be presenting to you the topic on negotiation. Yeah, you know we are in the school of uh, music industry, so there will be a lot of customers that asking, um, can you wave this? Can you wave that? Uh, yeah, it's all about negotiation. Let us um, further elaborate on what negotiation is like. So, see. <laughs> When a customer comes to you, <laughs> yes, this is gangs, gangs times, okay? This means that they want negotiation. They are, <laughs> yes, they are trying to get a waiver from you. So, should you give if a free uh, <laughs> registration to this person? What do you think? Okay, it depends, it depends. So if the person gives you a very suck up face, right? Yeah, you should not give. Okay? Further elaborate on the statistics of negotiation. Wow! Can every one of you do this? Yeah, man! Yeah, you see? Yes! This is how the graph works. So, let's see what's in summary for negotiation, yeah? yeah. Ah, see? Wow. Wonderful negotiation skills. Okay, so instead of holding the drumsticks like that, you've got to hold like that. <laughs> got it? Can everyone shoot me one more time? Yeah! <laughs> okay, give yourself a round of applause! Demonstration! So we all demonstrate a lot in our classes, right? We just want to let you know what it is like to demonstrate something. Okay, so demonstration is like this lady, I think she's Korean. She looks like she's demonstrating how to look like this sloth. Yeah. So she's wearing a doing a very good example of how it's how to demonstrate being a sloth. From the looks of it, her character probably is like a sloth also. Okay? So, according to statistics, right, demonstration is like this chart here. It demonstrates that at Sunday, on Sunday, at around 5 pm, demonstration rates are very low. Okay, but but as it goes on to, to, to Monday, people tend to demonstrate things a bit more. And then it drops again on Tuesday. So you can see it's like it goes up and down and up and down. Clear everyone? Have I demonstrated it well? Thank you. Can I have some applause please? Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you all very much. Very good. So in summary, demonstration is like a triplet. Uh, and <laughs> A triplet. So, what is a triplet? When you go to exam, you must dem not only demonstrate a triplet, you must explain the triplet as well, right? Right? Uh, three, three, three notes in the space of two notes of the same kind. Ah, you must demonstrate, demonstrate to examiner that you know what you're talking about. Like how I know what I'm talking about. You win! Okay guys, any questions? No, oh, awesome. Thank you all very much. Okay. Is this a good place to start? Yes. Okay, very good morning to all of y'all. Uh, welcome to the next Stone Council meeting. We're going to talk about things that are automatic. Now, can you tell me in your life, right, you want everything to be automatic, right? You don't want to do things manually. It's so lazy. Oh, you're, huh? But then, you're right. Everyone should be lazy. Everyone should do things automatically. Huh? Okay, so I can see that some of you are not very convinced. Okay, I'm gonna paint you a picture, okay? Now, take a look at this. Automatic is like this fella, right? Okay, when you stand in such a pose, uh, okay? When you stand in such a pose, right? You'll find that things come automatically for you. 
Excuse me, sir, can I have my McDonald's? It will come straight away, okay? Ma'am, where is my, uh, my fries? Straight away. Automatically, it comes to you, okay? This is the pose that you should be taking when you ask for anything. And it comes to you automatically, okay? Now, some statistics for you. Okay, according to statistics, automatic, right? It's kind of like this normal distribution graph, okay? Now, can you see the more towards the center, right, your pose is, when you're doing that, right, can you see everything comes to you naturally? 600, no? 600 units of everything, eh? <laughs> Versus what? Minus 100? Who wants minus 100? You tell me in your life. You want minus 100? You want zero? Huh? No, you must aim for the top. Okay? Now, in summary, automatic, right? Always remember this, okay? Your dress code matters. Exactly like your pose. If you can pose and you can dress, everything will come automatically. The topic is on discrimination, okay? So we all face many different kinds of discrimination, you know, in our social setting like workplace, uh, yeah, with our friends, right? So, we should face, uh, my ex, yeah, no, no, like my ex would face, but surprisingly I don't face it in the MDS. Anyway, discrimination is like, like two people who are actually caught under the box, you know, it's like you like one of them is actually the person who discriminates and one of them is actually the person who gets discriminated, right? You might think that actually the person who discriminates uh, is not actually suffering, but actually the truth is like, you know, after the long day, like, you know, after he, he does all the bad things, he probably will feel like, you know, he actually has to bear a little bit of the guilt of whatever that he, he inflicts on the other person. So, we shouldn't really just empathize the sufferer, but I feel that in the same uh, manner, we should actually feel the same way for the inflicted, uh, for, for, the, for, the, for the discriminator as well. So, um, according to statistics, discrimination oh, is, uh, is charted out in this, in this graph, okay? So, uh, the colours, right, actually mean that um, it's just the amount of um, uh, skin colour, yeah, it, it's actually a uh, skin colour. So, you notice that actually the, 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 the highest cases that are recorded are actually yeah, orange or for Chinese yellow skin, right? But those with green and blue, you realise that it's not very common. So, so actually, right, uh, like contrary to beliefs, right, I think Chinese are the ones who actually suffer the most from, from discrimination. Yeah. Okay, so in summary, discrimination is like stepping on the bass drum, okay? You don't want to be the bass drum, right? You want to be the person stepping, but then at the same time, right? At the same time, you also have to remember my first point was that actually, after you step for too long, you will realize that actually the person who is stepping is actually putting a lot of work as well. So, so you might you might uh you might want to consider stepping on high head instead, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So uh that is all from me. Thank you very much.